What is up guys, Jeremy here and welcome back to another video, another jailbreak status update video. It is May 2nd and as I like to mention in these videos, if you're watching it in the future, uh, be sure to check out the playlist link in the description. I always put my newest status jailbreak update video at the top of that playlist. So be sure to check that out to make sure you're watching uh, the most up-to-date information in terms of jailbreaking. Now, everything I mentioned in this video is the newest news, the newest information in terms of jailbreaking. Uh, if you guys see any other videos on YouTube suggesting otherwise, those are scam videos. They are fake jailbreaks to basically scam you to make money off of you. Super unfortunate that people do that, but uh, it is the truth and I do have all of the newest information uh, at all times. I do not miss out on anything. Um, so we're going to go ahead and jump into this. Now I'm going to do this a little bit different than normal. I'm going to talk about each jailbreak utility independently as that might help you guys better understand. I'm also going to talk about which iOS version should you be on. Um, we'll talk about that um, near the end of this video. So if you guys want my opinion, uh, if you're waiting for a jailbreak, just stick around. But first off, we're going to go ahead and jump into Chrome here and we're going to talk about Uncover. So Uncover uh, supports iOS 11.0 through 14.3. And as you can see, the newest version as of the making of this video is version 6.1.2. Uh, this you can jailbreak all iOS devices as long as they're running iOS 14.0 through 14.3, everything in between. There is no uncovered jailbreak for 14.4. There is no uncovered jailbreak for 14.5. Like I said, we have to wait for this jailbreak to be updated. I'll explain more towards the end of the video. So uncover 14.0 through 14.3, all devices. And it's gonna be the same as the Taurine jailbreak. That's gonna be iOS 14.0 through 14.3, all devices as well. This is actually my jailbreak of choice, if you guys are wondering, and I have my reasons, but I do really, really like Taurine and um, Pro Procursus and the Libhooker and just the way the jailbreak operates. So those are the the two semi-untethered jailbreaks that you can use on iOS 14 currently. Um, and now we're going to talk about CheckRain here real quickly. Now I know there's a lot of you that use CheckRain, so I wanted to touch base about this. I recently did a CheckRain jailbreak on how to jailbreak uh, iOS 14.5. Um, I did that on the 7 Plus and on the iPhone 10. Uh, so you can use CheckRain on older devices to the latest 14.5 version. Uh, so CheckRain will work for A11 chip and older. So that's going to be iPhone 10 and older. So iPhone 10, iPhone 8, um, iPhone 8 Plus, iPhone 7, 7 Plus, etc. So it has to have an A11 chip or be older. Now for those of you that have jailbroken with CheckRain and you have a A11 device, it is recommended to stay on 14.4.2. Reason being is because with CheckRain you do have to disable your passcode and face ID and there's no reason to really be on iOS 14.5 on these devices. It is recommended to stay on 14.4.2 uh, in case the Uncover or the Taurine jailbreak are updated in the future because then you could either jailbreak with those and use your face ID and passcode or CheckRain might possibly be able to be updated for those devices to that version of iOS. Like I said, 14.4.2. So it is recommended to be on 14.4.2 if you have an A11 device. Now, uh, on this iPhone 10, what I'm going to do is I'm actually planning on doing a downgrade video where I show you guys how to downgrade uh, from iOS 14.5 to 14.4.2. So what I'm going to do is downgrade this iPhone 10, and I'm going to be like you guys. I'm going to wait on 14.4.2 with the iPhone 10, and that way as soon as there is an update for the jailbreak utilities, if it does come for 14.4.2, I will be able to cover that for you guys. Uh, but like I said, this device, I will kind of be the community device in a sense. I will downgrade it to 14.4.2, and just leave it there until we hopefully get a jailbreak utility for it in the future. So those are all the current jailbreaks. We got we got Uncover, we got Taurine, all devices, 14.0 um, through 14.3. Then we got CheckRain, all older devices, A11 chip and older, 
up to the latest 14.5 and it actually even as a disclaimer it does work on 14.6 beta but there's no need to do that so those are the current jailbreaks now i want to quickly talk about 14.5 because i haven't talked about the security content uh, of 14.5 and everything it patched and give you guys my advice on what i think you should do depending on which firmware you're on this is a huge question and a lot of people get really kind of freaked out and uncertain and they don't know what to do i'm just gonna say this stay on the lowest firmware possible stay on the lowest firmware possible so um, if you're on 14.4 stay there if you're on 14.4.1 stay there if you're on 14.4.2 again stay there if you're on 14.5 definitely definitely downgrade to 14.4.2 because there is a ton of patches in 14.5 and some of these uh, might get released we don't really know until it happens um, but there is a ton of vulnerabilities a ton of patches there's kernel level vulnerabilities there's webkit vulnerabilities and i don't want to talk about any of these in specific because there's no there's no real way to know if any of these people will release these exploits but i do know that if they do release it it's going to be in the future it's not going to be quite yet it's going to be uh, when Apple decides to stop signing 14.4.2 uh, that way nobody can downgrade to it and then the vulnerability would be released at that time um, that is my suspicion or that is my prediction but as you can see there's a lot of really cool um, kernel patches and exploits and you know a ton of stuff that has been patched with 14.5 so that makes the chance of a a jailbreak for 14.4 through 14.4.2 um, uh, there's a great chance for it and that's really cool so uh, like I said guys if you're on 14.4 don't worry about trying to update to 14.4.2 there is no need you still have a better chance at a jailbreak if you're on a lower version so I still feel that if you're on 14.4 you still have a better chance than 14.4.2 even though it's gonna be pretty even in terms of what's going to happen in the future uh, but i still strongly believe uh the lowest you can be the better um and that's just my opinion and as you guys can see i mean these these patches just keep going on and on here's some kernel level ones um a lot of great patches done in 14.5 which like i said uh gives us a great chance in terms of getting a jailbreak for 14.4 through 14.4.2 now 14.4.2 is still being signed as of the making of this video. Again, like I said, if you guys are on 14.5, 100% downgrade to 14.4.2. I feel there's a pretty good chance we could see a jailbreak for 14.4 through 14.4.2 in the future. So do not miss out on downgrading. If you guys are on 14.5, I can almost assure you, you will never get a jailbreak at least not for a long time if, if you're the type of person that just stays on the newest version of ios you will probably never see a jailbreak the way you get a jailbreak is you stop updating your your iphone and to do this it's pretty simple we'll just go into settings we go to general we go to software update and when you're in software update make sure you turn automatic updates off turn all of this off and your iphone will not update unless you tell it to so make sure automatic updates is off so that your iPhone does not update and stay on the lowest version of iOS possible. Like I said, I'm going to advise you guys to be on at least 14.4.2 or lower if possible. And again, I'll repeat 14.4. If you're there, stay there. If you're on 14.4.1, again, stay there. And of course, 14.4.2, stay there as well. Now, I will leave all of the links for the current jailbreaks down in the description. Uh, for you guys these are the official websites if you guys are seeing other fake jailbreaks and different links they're 100 percent fake only rely on the official jailbreak websites those are the only websites that can be trusted and like i said as soon as there's any more news i will of course cover it here now i quickly wanted to talk about pangu because i've seen some scam videos on youtube already because there was some pangu kernel level patches in the 14.5 um uh, security content and it's just silly to me because pangu uh you can almost quote me on this we'll never make a jailbreak again um and i don't even think they'll release their exploits either because i'm pretty sure they sell them off to security um you know security um i forget what they call them but basically they buy exploits from teams like pangu and they pay like hundreds of thousands of dollars for these 
exploits. So you're, you're never going to see Pangu um, release a jailbreak again because there's too much money to be made outside of jailbreaking. Basically, when they make a jailbreak, they, they make no money off of the exploit that they found. But if they sell it to a security, I want to say firm or something like that, security, I forget the name of them, but they buy patches or kernel level bugs and stuff like that, and they pay a boatload of money. Now, the reason why you guys are seeing um, Pangu fake jailbreak videos is because uh, they did have some kernel level bugs, as you can see right here, impact a malicious application, may be able to execute arbitrary code with kernel privileges and as you can see it is by uh, Pangu lab at the bottom there so because of that you're now seeing fake scam Pangu jailbreak videos on YouTube and I think it's pretty stupid uh, like I said you'll probably never see Pangu release anything ever again they've already been there done that and that's uh that hasn't been done since iOS 9 or whatever their last jailbreak was it's been uh, quite a few years so there is no current Pangu jailbreak uh, nor will we probably ever see one and I also wanted to mention uh, the iOS jailbreaking Wikipedia here, because if you guys absolutely need 100%, you know, positive information, you can get it from, from uh, the wiki for jailbreaking it. It tells you what all the exploits are. Um, if you go here to uh, jailbreaking tools, and if you swipe down to this very long page, it will show you every tool that has been released for every different version of iOS. Uh, basically telling you what the real jailbreaks are. So if you guys ever have a question about a certain jailbreak, you can refer to the iOS jailbreak uh, Wikipedia page. Again, I'll leave the link for this in the description. It might be useful for some of you. I just know that there's a ton of confusion on YouTube because of all the scam tubers, which is really quite annoying. But I'll leave a link for that in the description as well. So that is all of the up-to-date current jailbreak information for all different versions of iOS 14. So I really quickly wanted to talk about this tweet here from Free the Sandbox. As you guys can see here, if you want to run an iOS LPE, which is Local Privilege Escalation, it is probably wise to stay on 14.4.2. So again, this is just another, um, you know, tweet or more information that's going to solidify the best practice of staying on the lowest version of iOS 14 possible. Now just because they say to stay on 14.4.2 does not mean you need to update to 14.4.2 if you're on say 14.4. Uh, whatever is vulnerable for 14.4.2 um, is also vulnerable for 14.4 or 14.4.1. Uh, so as you guys can see, this is a uh, really important uh, tweet, I think. So this uh, Free the Sandbox, we might see an exploit released from them. Uh, I don't know what it is that they would release, but you never know. It could be something that could be used in updating Uncover or Touring in the future. So really quickly wanted to mention this tweet because there was a lot of people talking about this. Like I said, stay on 14.4 through 14.4.2. The lower you are, the better but I think there is a good chance that we will see a jailbreak for those versions of iOS 14. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Again, like I said, if you're watching this in the future, check out the uh, playlist link in the description. And I'll also leave all of the links of everything I mentioned in this video in the description with all the written information as well in terms of what are the current jailbreaks. Uh, but anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely throw me a thumbs up. And if you guys wanna see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later.